So you go like, here's your periodic table, right? It looks something like a rectangle. And then you go, there's trends that increase to the upper right hand corner. And there's trends that increase to the lower left hand corner. Okay, so let's do one, for example, uh, radius. Radius uh, increases this way. That means, like, fluorine's up here. Fluorine's the smallest, tiny. And then it gets bigger, 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 bigger as you go down. Why? Oh, I'll tell you in a second. And then bigger this way. Let me just put all the trends oh, okay. down. Let's see. So what am I missing? Ionization energy is this way. Okay. Uh, electron affinity is this way. As a negative. Okay, what else is there? Uh, shielding. And Z effective. So Z effective gets... Should get larger this way. And then shielding. Or screening. Am I missing any? I think that's all the trends from that chapter. Okay. Is there going to be more to add on to this? Or? No, this is it. We're done with that chapter and there's nothing else coming on to this. Uh, oh, there's one, I guess. You could say... Uh, this is more like a diagonal relationship. Going this way. Uh, non-metallic character and then the opposite is metallic character okay I think that's about it okay let's kind of work through these um, shielding you kind of remember that concept or maybe I should do a little mini review of shielding Shielding is the idea where you have a nucleus and then around the nucleus are core electrons and around the core electrons are valence electrons. The idea of shielding is that the valence electrons have a hard time seeing the nucleus because the core electrons are in the way. So what that means is that the valence electrons are shielded from the protons. They don't see the protons. So the more as you increase shielding, that means as you increase or as you increase the blockage okay, of, of the valence electrons, then you decrease what's called Z effective. That means the charge or aka the number of protons I can see. So the more shielded you are, the less protons you can see in the nucleus. So for example, let's say there was, uh, I'll just pick a number like three protons here. Is that okay? Well, if these valence electrons are really shielded, maybe it only thinks there's two electrons in the set, the two protons there. Or maybe, hi, welcome, come in. Or maybe if they're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna see. Okay, we can grab it. Okay. If they're really shielded, maybe they'll think there's only two protons here. Or if they're even more shielded, maybe they'll think it's only one proton here. Is that okay? So it's kind of blocked. So that's shielding. Z effective is the number of protons it sees. So in reality, there are three protons, but maybe it only sees one or two. And Z is, remember Z from before, it's the atomic number, a.k.a. the number of protons. So I'll put uh, Z equals P, protons. Oh, that's, that doesn't mean the three P orbitals, it means three protons? Uh, yeah, oh. here, here, protons. So I switch variables a lot in this class. Yeah. Is that okay? So. So Z effective means how many uh, protons the valence electron 
feels? Feels, yeah. Whatever uh, anthropomorphism you want to put on there. Feels, sees, touches, whatever. Yeah. The it thinks, thinks, is in the middle. Uh -huh. That it experiences, whatever. They're all like human words, but, you know, it's hard to describe. Okay, so that's shielding. That's why shielding... Okay, so you see how shielding... As, as it gets bigger, as there's more orbits, okay, N increases. So I guess that you could say, if you want, kind of as a side note, this will put this in blue. Oh, no. As you go down the periodic table, N increases. Okay, that's because N, the quantum number, N increases. So as N gets bigger, there's more and more orbits, the valence electrons will be more and more shielded. Okay, so that's why shielding increases going down. Okay, increases going down. Now, the across one's the most difficult one to get. Are you okay with down? Yeah. Okay, the across one's the weirder one to understand. So let's take, here's our nucleus, here's the core, and here's the valence. Okay? I'm gonna make my nucleus empty. Okay, so let's say there's some stuff here, doing some blockage, the core electrons, okay? Now, I'm going to add, put one proton here, I'm going to march across to the right of the periodic table, square by square. So, as I march across each one, I put one proton and one electron. Okay, this electron is shielded by these, from the proton. So then they can't see the this electron has trouble seeing the proton, yeah. Okay, let's go one more element to the right. You got a pro another proton, another electron. Is that okay? Okay, another proton, one more to the right. And another one. And another one. And another one. You see how I add a proton and an electron each time? Okay, can you see as I add more and more electrons and protons, they're less shielded? because the number out here outweighs the number here. Sorry. So, it's like, as you get more and more in the middle, and more and more on the outside, it's easier to see each other. They out, out counteract the ones in the middle. Yeah. yeah. What are the small red dots? Just stuff, little electrons in here. Oh. Core electrons. Oh, okay. And those are constant? Yeah, that's constant because their core electrons, they don't change. So I'm just saying, as we march to the right, and we're adding valence electrons. Uh, you say, like, uh, like, moving across the periodic table. So mm -hmm. this, this isn't just, like, one uh, like element or one atom. This is like... Yeah, it's like, um, if I like make a little restart here. Okay, the middle is the nucleus, then that next circle represents core electrons, the last circle represents valence. Okay, uh, so let's say we're at lithium. Okay, lithium has three protons, one, two, three. Okay, it has one valence electron and two... two core electrons. Is that okay? It's 1s2, uh, 2s1. Okay? Now, let's march to the right. Beryllium. There's four in the middle, one more on the outside. Now can you see, I'm added one more electron. It's slightly less shielded now. It's got more players. I'm going to go into the next one, boron. One more proton, one more electron. Now there's a couple more electrons. Outside electrons are now have a majority over the core electrons. Is that okay? Let's go another one. Another proton. This is going to be carbon. Four, elect four valence electrons. And now about six protons in the middle. See, now they're like really... It's like they're, the middle ones are trying to play keep away with the protons. 